Let's take a look at the interest questions. Now you can use a calculator for all of these questions. So for question number one, we need to add 5% to these amounts. So what we could do is work out 5% of 100, work out 5% of 1,000, etc., etc., and then add it on. That's not too bad. In fact, we could probably do some of these in our head perhaps. Um, or we can use one calculation that takes us directly to the answer. So instead of working out 5% and adding it on, a calculation that just goes straight to the new amount. Now it all depends how good you are at your percentage multipliers. Now for 5%, if you're working out 5% of an amount, you would type into your calculator 0 0.05 multiplied by your total. Now I call this figure here your percentage multiplier and all it is is the percentage amount divided by 100. In other words, it's the decimal equivalent of the percentage. So when you multiply a number by your percentage multiplier, that's how you calculate the percentage of the total. So for example, 23% of an amount, you type in 0 0.23 times your total. Now, if you want to increase an amount by a given percentage, instead of using your 0 0.05 or your 0 0.23, what you're gonna do is just add one to these values. So for a 5% increase, you're going to multiply by 1.05. For a 23% increase, you'd be multiplying by 1.23. If you didn't follow that, but you do understand how to use your basic multiplier, then simply calculate 5% of an amount using the 0.05 and then add it on. Alternatively, you could work out 10%, which is dividing it by 10. And once you know 10%, then 5% is half of that and half of that amount. Anyway, I'm going to stick with multiplying by 1.05. So to calculate 5% of a total, you'd use 0.05, but we want to increase these amounts by 5%. So I'm going to use the multiplier 1.05. So all I'm going to do is multiply all of these totals separately by 1.05, obviously because they're completely separate questions. 100 times 1.05 is 105 pounds. 1,000 times 1.05 is 1,050. 20 becomes 21, 34 becomes 35 pounds 70, and 1 pound 60 becomes 1 pound 68. I'm going to do exactly the same with all of these. Again, multiply by 1.05, that being our percentage multiplier for a 5% increase. 224 pounds becomes 235 pounds 20, 108 becomes 11340. 48.40 becomes uh, 50 pounds 82. 50 pounds becomes 52 pounds 50. And 665.80 becomes 699 pounds and 9p. Question number two. So how much interest will Alice get from account A? Well, she's gonna get 15%. So what is 15% of 8,000? Our multiplier for 15% is 0 0.15, so 0 0.15 multiplied by 8,000, just type that into a calculator, you get 1,200 pounds interest. For 10%, the multiplier is 0 0.10, or just 0 0.1, multiplied by um, the 8,000, which is 800 pounds. And the interest uh, for account C is 5% and the multiplier for 5% is 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 multiplied by 8,000 and that comes to interest of 400 pounds. We also need to work out the total balance. So all we need to do is add the 1,200 and the 8,000 together. That will give us 9,200. Similarly for B, 8,000 plus 800 is 8,800. And for C, 8,000 plus 400, that's 8,400 pounds. For question number three, we just need to increase the amounts by the specified um, interest. Um, a lot of these interest rates are pretty extreme. You'd never get that from a bank. Remember, uh, it's all about percentage multipliers. Uh, what you could do, for example, for 3A is work out 10% and then add it on. But for me, it's much quicker. Instead of using the percentage multiplier 0.1 to work out your 10%, use the multiplier 1.1 and that takes you directly to the total. So 100 multiplied by 1.1, that's 110 pounds. Our multiplier for 5% is 0.05, but if we want to increase 
by 5%, but then we're going to multiply by 1.05, and 15,000 times 1.05 is 15750. Our multiplier for 15% is 0 0.15, but if we want to increase by 15%, we're multiplying by 1.15, and 50 multiplied by 1.15 comes to 57 pounds and 50 pence. Our multiplier for 20% is 0 0.2, but when we're increasing by 20%, we're multiplying by 1.2, 350 multiplied by uh, 1.2 comes to 420 pounds. And our multiplier for 30% is 0 0.3. So if we're increasing by 30%, then we're going to be multiplying by 1.3. So 31 pounds multiplied by 1.3, that comes to a total of 40 pounds and 30 pence. 3F, 50% interest, well 50% our multiplier is 0 0.5. So if we're increasing by 50%, we're multiplying by 1.5 and 116 multiplied by 1.5 is 174 pounds. The multiplier for 40% is 0 0.4, but for an increase it's going to be 1.4. 2550 multiplied by uh, 1.14, that is 35 pounds 70. 25%, the multiplier is 0 0.25. So if we're increasing by 25%, we're multiplying by 1.25, and that figure there times 1.25 comes to 20,480. This is a really difficult one. Um, so if something is being increased by 100%, that means it's doubling in value. So this is more than doubling in value. Um, so what you might want to do is, well, work out 100% of 65. 100% of 65 is 65. So we're going to be adding 65. And then we're going to be adding on another 10% of 65. And 10% of 65 is £6.50. So if you add 65, the original 65, plus 100% of 65, which is 65, plus 10% of 65, which is 650, add them all together, you're going to get a grand total of £136.50. Uh, so in terms of multipliers, it's quite a complicated one. So basically, what we need to do is if we divide this by 100, we get our basic percentage multiplier, so that would be 1.1. So if you're working out 110% of an amount, you'd multiply it by 1.1. Now to increase by 110%, you'd add one to this figure, which would be 2.1. So this would be our multiplier for a 110% increase. So 65 times 2.1, that takes us to the 13650. Sometimes increasing by more than 100%, that can be quite confusing. Um, our multiplier for 60%, this one's a lot easier. Our percent, basic percentage multiplier is 0 0.6. Add one for our multiply for an increase by that amount, so 1.699850 times by 1.6, that comes to £1,597.60. Question number four, so we're looking at um, some different savings accounts and seeing how much interest Alice gets. So in account A, 15% interest if she invests £1,000. So first of all, how much interest will she earn? Well, it's 15% of 1,000. So the calculation is 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.15. So that is an interest amount of £150. Therefore, at the end, she will have 1,000 plus 150, which is 1,150. In account B, it's £4,000. Uh, we're working at 10%. Well, 10% we can do in our heads. We just, it's at one tenth of that amount, chop off a zero. So that's 400 pounds interest. So therefore it's 4,400 in total. If you prefer, you can just do 4,000 times 0 0.1, 0 0.1 being the multiplier for 10%. In C, uh, it's 20%. So our multiplier is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 750. That comes to a total of £150 interest, so therefore her new balance will be 900 which is the 750 plus the 150 And for D, we want to work out 5%, so the multiplier is 0 0.05 multiplied by 10,000, and that comes to an interest amount of 500 so the new total will be £10,500. Question number five. Um, so we need to determine the total amount of money after interest has been added and which one has the highest total amount. So uh, if we're applying 5% interest, that means we're increasing this amount by 5%. The multiplier for 5% is 0 0.05, but 
but to increase by 5% is 1.05 and that means the new total is going to be £10,500. Our multiplier for 10% is 0 0.1 but to increase by 10% it's 1.1 so we're going to multiply 9,900 by 1.1 and that comes to a total of uh, 10,890. Our multiplier for 25% is 0 0.25, but to increase by 25% is 1.25. So 9810 times 1.25 comes to £12,262.50. So C is the highest total amount after interest is added. Multiplier for 20% is 0 0.2. To increase by 20% is 1.2. 15,000 times 1.2 is 18,000. Multiplier for 10% is 0 0.1. To increase by 10% is 1.1. 1 .1. 18,000 times 1.1 comes to 19,800. And multiplier for 15% is 0 0.15. So the multiplier for a 15% increase is 1.15. So 13,000 times 1.15 comes to a total of 14,950, so B is the highest total amount. 5C, we're going to multiply 100 by 1.3, which comes to 130 pounds. B, we're going to multiply by 1.1, which comes to 143 pounds. And for C, we're going to multiply 115 by 1.25, which is £143.75, so option C is the answer. For D, we're going to multiply A by 1.35, B by 1.2, and C by 1.45, so the totals will be £268.65, £298.80, and for C, £216.05p, and so B is the highest amount. For A, we're multiplying the total by 1.25, for B, multiplying by 1.55, and C, multiplying by 1.15, and that will generate new totals of £13, £15.50, and £12.65. And so for 5E, B is the highest total amount. Question number six, uh, similar to some of the other questions, we're working out the interest and then the new balance. So for Alice, we want to work out 10% of 15,000. That's nice and easy, just chop off a zero. That's 1,500. Alternatively, use the multiplier at 0 0.1 for 10%. So the total balance after the interest is 15,000 plus the 1,500. So that's 16,500 pounds. For Bob, 15%, um, I definitely use a calculator here 0 0.15 is the multiplier for 15% and 9000 times 0 0.15 is 1350 add that on to the 9000 and you get a new total of 10350 Chloe is 25% I mean that's a massive amount of interest uh, so what is 25% um, of this figure well we're going to multiply the total by 0 0.25 10,000 times 0 0.25 is 2,500 pounds. And if we add that to the 10,000, then we get 12,500 pounds. This makes part D really easy. Who earns the most interest? Well, that's Chloe. Who has the most money at the end? That is Alice. And question number seven. So Tony has 15,000 to invest in an account. He's got these options, flat rate of 5% per year. So for part A, what we're doing is 15,000. Well, what I'm going to do now is uh, we just, we're not interested in the actual amount of interest, just the most money at the end. I could work out 5% and add it on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this amount by 5%. The multiplier for 5% is 0 0.05. To increase by 5%, I'm going to use 1.05. 15,000 times 1.05 comes to 15,750. So that is A. Uh, for B, it's 
interest, which is a huge amount of interest, but um, he can't invest 15,000. He can only invest 14,500. 15% um, what's that as a multiplier? Well, it's 0 0.15, but if we want to increase by 15%, then it's 1.15. I'd much rather use these multipliers than work out 15% and then add it on. It just saves that extra step. 14,500 times 1.15 is 16,675. And for C, so um, he's going to invest 15,000 pounds. He's going to get uh, 450 pounds signing up and he gets 10% interest. So um, that means that in his account, he'll have um, 15,450 to begin with, which is the money he deposits plus the signing up bonus. And now he's gonna receive 10% interest on this figure here. Now 10% uh, means we'd be using a multiplier of 0 0.1, but we wanna increase this by 10%. So instead of do, using 0 0.1, we're gonna use 1.1 and 15,450 multiplied by 1.1 comes to a total of 16,995 pounds. So which account leaves Tony with the most money after one year? Well, that's gonna be um, account C.